Why do you choose to be so public? So I would say originally it was a very important part of the strategy. You know, we were a tiny fund trying to influence these really big companies and we were using the power of persuasion uh, to influence them. And we couldn't influence them with the fact that we own 1% of company ABC, but we could if we corralled the other, you know, substantial majority of other shareholders to our views. And therefore having the, uh, the platform, if you will, uh, or the mouthpiece was a, how we effectuated change. So it was a very important, powerful part of the strategy. And then I always had this kind of free speech thing. You know, I'm not, I don't want to copy a lawn or anything, but big believer in free speech. And if I think about like the most important drivers in my life, I would say independence was always one of the, uh, I did not like the fact that my parents could control me. And, you know, that motivated me to have lots of summer jobs. So I had my own spending money. And that also motivated me to be, you know, financially independent as promptly as possible. But one of the sad things about our country right now is I think free speech has been crushed to a great extent, other than if you were, you know, if, if you can say something, if you could express a political view and get fired today, which is definitely a very real possibility, only if you are financially independent or, you know, an entrepreneur of some kind, or you've got enough money in the bank. Can you take the risk of speaking freely? So I, I take advantage of the ability to speak freely. And even then it's dangerous. Do you worry that? Because even then it's dangerous. You see people like JK Rowling, a, you know, a billionaire in her own right, who has bricks thrown through her window for free speech. Yeah, it's, it, that, that's a bad thing. I was speaking very freely this weekend, right, on the whole bank thing. I found, you know, I've kind of been fa become fascinated by Twitter in the last, I would say, three years. I really was not active on Twitter before that and periodically active. And it's what I like about it is it's a way to, to have your views heard and debated. And, you know, I'm, you know, very meaningful number of people who matter in finance, media, you, you know, central banking, whatever, you know, follow me. And so, you know, while Jay Powell probably wouldn't take my call if I called him for to give him advice, because last thing he wants to do is talk to someone who's actively buying and selling securities in a marketplace. Not that we are that active buying and selling, but yeah, I think he would certainly think of me as someone like that. I can share my view with Jay Powell directly. I'm quite sure he actually follows me, you know, not under the, the name <laughs> Jay Powell. <laughs> I'm sure he's you know, got some other pseudonym. But it's, it's, my point is it's an effective way to reach the people that matter in DC and otherwise uh, about important policy things. And during the financial crisis, I did the same thing with the occasional PowerPoint presentation or, or segment on CNBC. Uh, but here I can, you know, from the comfort of my couch, <laughs> okay, you know, share a point of view on something that I think is important. And I, you know, I was, you know, woke up Saturday morning after the events of the week, pretty convinced that if the government didn't, at a minimum, guarantee deposits at Silicon Valley Bank, we'd have a massive run at pretty much every regional bank on Monday. And my advice was we need to guarantee all deposits, not just uh, those. And I think, unfortunately, the run is continuing. I mean, if you look at the, the, the deposit inflows uh, at the big banks, if you talk to anyone at JP Morgan who works uh, at opening accounts, they're working literally around the clock uh, to take in all the capital that's flowing in. You know, that's not good for the uh, for our, our banking system in our country. And that was what I was afraid of over the weekend, which is why I was so public, if you will.